and the time is 6 19. it is valentine's day which is why i'm wearing pink i had a run yesterday i did not film because i'm starting the vlog today but i ran a mile straight y'all i don't think i've ran a mile straight since i, I almost want to say middle school I'm talking about because i was like getting choked up as i was saying i was like i ran a And I have a long way to go. Like for a half marathon. Like it was so hard to run that one mile straight. Granted, let me give context. So I had already ran 0 0.6 miles. And then we had walked two miles pretty much at around an 18 minute pace. This was my third mile. And then Catherine was like, let's run it. And I'm like, uh, okay. But we did it. She was telling me the key with running, like even if you're running slow, just something about like your body doing this motion is better than walking. Even if you're doing it really slow because it's getting, you're one, you're having to pick yourself up more and two, um, it builds that endurance in a way that just, just walking alone doesn't do for running specifically. Like obviously if you, the more you walk, the, more, the longer you'll be able to walk, but if you're trying to train for running, just something about like getting your body to like do that pick up emotion like that little trot thing that gallop if you will um helps build your endurance or running so today i have after my degree class later i have hill sprints which is a completely different kind of workout i've never done this before um and honestly i might switch it for wednesday because i really don't or switch it for thursday because i don't know if i want to do this not doing hill sprints what i'm learning about waking up early and just Putting all the things in motion that I've said I want to do, you're never gonna wanna do it. Like, I did not wanna get out of bed this morning. And yesterday, I definitely did not wanna do that run. But it's something about just going, showing up, even though you don't want to. Because as you get into it, you're like, oh man, this is like kind of fun. Like, I had actually a lot of fun yesterday, even though it was so hard. But it's just something about like when you don't break those commitments to yourself, you just feel so freaking good about yourself. Like I feel really confident today. I was listening to Mel Robbins and she was saying that pretty much like for any of these things that you want to do and you're trying to manifest for yourself, don't manifest the end thing. Don't manifest this big goal. Manifest, she was saying manifest the days where you know you're not going to want to get up to go for that run. It's raining outside. Imagine yourself in those scenarios and then pushing through because that's the process and that's what you're literally going to have to do. Visualize yourself pushing through on those situations because that's going to be the thing that carries you over to the finish line. And I had never heard anyone say that before. I feel like people always focus on the end result, but I really like the idea of visualizing these really tough points in your process, things that are naturally going to occur that you know will occur and you just visualizing yourself pushing through anyway. I feel like that also helps you not delude yourself into thinking things won't be hard because they will be. And sometimes I feel like when people talk about manifesting, they just make it seem like this easy peasy thing. Like your goals won't still require hard work, you know? And it's like they will. And so you should go ahead and imagine yourself as well doing that hard thing and pushing past it. And so that way when you encounter those hard moments on your journey, you're like, I've already, I've already been here before because I've literally been visualizing how I'm going to show up in these moments. I just love that. I'm new to Mel Robbins, but I'm really enjoying her so far. She's really insightful. I'm so excited for Tahoe this weekend. I've never been, so I think it'll be a fun little time. I was talking to my friend yesterday. She was just talking about like everything I'm doing. She was just like, oh, that's so impressive. Like training with the half marathon and stuff. And... She was just kind of telling me like when she was laid off, like she didn't really do much. And I've, I've been following a lot of laid off people, not following them, but like since I posted my laid off video on TikTok, TikTok has been serving me more. People who've been laid off and like people who have like these laid off diaries and they like just watch TV shows all day. I am definitely still watch a good amount of TV. I feel like I watch the same amount of TV that I watched even when I had a job. I just think for me, if I just sit around and don't do anything, one, nobody's gonna change the situation for me but me. And a lot of these people, I think, who are like chilling, like big chilling, they're probably getting a nice unemployment check or they, um, you know, had a good severance from their job. I, or they have, you know, savings, like they are in a better position financially than I am. 
I would assume so, to be able to just watch TV and make TikToks on it. I mean, I still make TikToks, but like me, I'm not in that position. And so that is why I just have to keep myself busy. And I didn't want to give up on the goals I have for myself this year just because I'm laid off. Also, especially because I didn't want a job anyway. Like I really don't want to be working for anyone. My heart lies in entrepreneurship. And so this just kind of feels a little bit natural for me. I already scraped, scraped my scent, but I got my flower bomb. I just feel like I've been really gravitating towards this scent because it's just super girly and cute and I like it. I finished makeup. I got these egg bites from Trader Joe's. I'm going to bring these with me because after I take class, I'm going to teach. In case you're new here, um, I am a degree instructor. I'll take class and then teach. I just want to have some things because I keep buying food and I like need to stop buying food. And then I'm gonna wear my glasses that Erica bought us from Galentine's while I teach class today. I need to wash this bag too when I get back. Do we have time for coffee? I will have to order it now. They be taking forever. And they is Phil's. I didn't show y'all, but Montez got me a cute little Valentine's Day card and some flowers. All right, let's go. So cute. Happy Valentine's Day. It's possible here. All right, I am done teaching now. I have to go pick up my press on nails from my nail girl and then I have to teach again later. All right, I am back home now. I am tired. The time now is 7.15. I didn't film when I came home. No, I don't want an alarm. Ugh, whatever. <laughs> when I came home from teaching earlier, I edited my vlog that is up now. You should definitely go watch it if you haven't already. I technically do have a run today, though I could skip today. But if I skip today, I have to do it. That pushes me till Saturday. And I'm leaving at 8 a.m for Tahoe, which means I would need to wake up first thing, get that run done, which seems very tempting right now because I just feel tired and I'm about to make dinner. Montez is still at work, um, but when he comes home, I want him to have a nice little Valentine's Day dinner. And I got some cinnamon rolls. I'm gonna try to make the cinnamon rolls hearts. I made the cinnamon rolls, but they didn't come out like hearts. That's how I wanted them to. But it's all ready for him. We like got this paper so we could do some pottery but we're both pretty tired so i think we'll do this another night all right i'm about to go to bed i am tired y'all i've been up since what time 5 4 30 ish i'm about to read the atlas six it's pretty interesting so far use my i use my hatch light normally i read on my kindle but i got this book from the library so i'm gonna read this there'll be a nice break from screens because i've been watching black cake i was watching that um, while I was cooking. Black cake is actually really good, but this last episode I just watched literally made me, like, I was on the verge of tears. Oh, it is so heavy. Huh? You wanna watch it for a little bit tonight or not? You wanna watch it with me? I was about to read. Okay. We can watch Black Cake. Yeah, it's a sad I'll kind listen, of show. You want Iron Flame? Mm -hmm. Oh, we can read Iron Flame. I'm always down to read Iron Flame. If you want to read Iron Flame, we gotta get through it. Montez's been taking forever. That was how many vlogs ago was we were talking about Iron Flame? Montez that takes forever to read. I done read. I was gonna say I heard the food is already made. Yeah, I'm gonna read this and then I guess we'll read if I'm not asleep. All right. I'm gonna see y'all tomorrow. <laughs> All right, in case you didn't see, I am going to Tahoe this weekend, and this is all the stuff that I need for Tahoe. So let's go ahead and unbox everything. The stuff is me and Montez's stuff, not just my stuff. Okay, got some more sunscreen. I love this Beat the Sun 
sunscreen by Crave Beauty, literally my favorite one. I just feel like Koreans got it right with skincare for black folks in a way that no one else has. Like it doesn't leave a cast. It literally feels like a nice moisturizer. Oh, this is my hat. Okay, I need scissors. And then I got a bag to match this coat that I got for Christmas. Isn't that so cute? It's just like a nice little furry bag. I feel like it's giving Tahoe, you know? Cause we're gonna do a nice dinner. This is, so I'm going on a couples trip and this is my first couple trip, couples trip. I've never been on a couples trip before. So I'm excited to see how it goes. <laughs> okay, wait, I think this is my ski suit or Montez's overalls. Montez tried to match me with my ski, with our ski outfits. We're not gonna ski though. Um, we are gonna do tubing. Because first of all, why is skiing so expensive? It is like crazy expensive. What is this? These are, this is like his base. Honestly, I probably should have got some base layers too. He got his base layers from Carhartt. Oh my gosh, it is so cute. Though the color does look different than what I thought it would look like. The color is a little bit different. Okay, these are Montez's. Montez got these snowshoes. These are pretty cute. Montez, come look at your shoes. And then I'm pretty sure these are your overalls. Yeah, okay. No. Oh, you wanna... No, go ahead. Yeah. No, you do it. I'm not just slave. I'm gonna open some more stuff. Slave, you do what it started off with. She said, I'm not, I'm your... not your slave. I'm not your but slave. She the one who picked it up, started opening, talking about slave. Okay. And then this is your jacket. Oh, your hoodie, your hoodie. Okay, I'll put that back in there. Oh. Take it off, oof. Oh, sure. I don't know what this is. Yeah, no, it's really a cute outfit. Oh, this is my jumpsuit. So this is gonna be my base layer. But after looking at my, well, it is kind of thick. It is a little thick, but I'm kind of like, oh yeah, no, no, it's thick. Like fill it inside. It's like, it has like a yeah, fleece. It's it's it has a be, fleece yeah, inside. I feel like I might need just one more thing. Oh, it has pearls in the back of the neck. That's classy too. Yeah, this is your jacket. Here you go. Oh, here's my ski suit. But you'll put your overalls on top of that. No? Oh, okay. I thought the overalls go on top of that and then the jacket. I'll put the jacket on. That That's how the dude had it on the picture. The overalls, overalls were on top of the hoodie. Like that goes underneath. Think about when you have to use the bathroom though. Yeah. Oh, I forgot you were a boy. <laughs> I'm like, when you go to the bathroom, you're gonna, but no, you should, no, I think it's still what I'm saying though. Yeah. Yeah. No, you copied me. Oh, no, no. Ooh, I have a fur hood. She's a snow bunny. Oh, not a snow bunny. <laughs> not a snow bunny. Not a snow bunny. <laughs> She's a snow baddie. I'm a snow angel. I'm so sorry. I'm a snow angel. So cute. I'm excited for Tahoe. Mm -mm 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 -mm. So it does fit, but it is a little snug here in the thigh area, um, which I think is okay. Does, does yours feel like really loose? Cause it has another layer underneath. So it just feels a little tight. I did want a fitted look though. Like I wanted to give, I wanted to go with like a fitted look. Cause I was really trying to give Jasmine Tukes like luxury kind of vibe. The booty looks good. The body's tea, you know? I feel very cute and confident in that. I feel, and I also feel like I'm gonna be warm, which is what we want. I have a few, I'm still waiting on my shoes to get here. So hopefully they, those get here soon. Yeah, we're going to Tahoe, I'm so excited. I'm gonna do my hair tomorrow. Oh, I didn't even see it. It has snow, oh, it has little details on the belt. Details, it says snow. Jisun snow. I don't know what that means, but it's cute. I am not really feeling like doing this, but I have to because we have to do the things we don't want to do sometimes. So I'm getting ready to go on a quick run before I teach my two Legree classes. And I got these headphones. Um, and so I wanted to do a quick little unboxing. 
for them. They're the Sony XM5s. My boyfriend has the M4s. And he really likes those. He was trying to convince me to get those instead of these, but I just feel like these are cuter. All right, the only thing, now I will give him this on the M4, the M4 case I feel like is smaller, whereas this is giving like backpack a little bit. Um, but it's cute, I guess. Okay, so this is the case it comes in. I do like the little gold detail in there. I think that's pretty. All right, here they are in the case. And so they don't fold versus the M4s they fold. I do think they're very cute. No plugs? What the heck? Oh, <laughs> it has a little compartment for the plugs. That's cool. I was going to say, where the heck are the plugs? But they're super cute and I feel like they go with my outfit really well. Oh my gosh, no, I've been wanting these for a minute. I think they're so cute. This is silvered according to them. I would say this is more of a taupe, but to, to Sony it's silver. All hooked up. I'm listening to Nine Lives by uh, Cassia Tierney. I love her, she's like so inspirational. I know there's like little tappy things you can do. I personally don't know any of that. I'm bringing these with me. And I'm gonna run over by the studio because I'm gonna just drop my bag off and then go for a run and then come back to teach. Okay, my run is over now. I am at the studio getting ready to teach. Honestly, that was super short. I really needed like more like an hour to run. I only gave myself like 16 minutes. And so if I have the energy, I am going to take a degree class. And if I have the energy, I need to run again, ideally, to really do what it will schedule it for me today. I am proud of myself for still like trying to get something in before today's class, especially I don't, if I don't know how I feel after uh, today's workout, but I do need to like run a little bit longer and I have my run tomorrow too and then I'll have one on Saturday. So, lots of running. Y'all, but I'm scared now. So my friend, so y'all know I'm going to Tahoe this weekend. I told y'all that they got more snow and apparently there's supposed to be like some crazy storms happening tonight or happening this weekend. And my friend was saying the last time she went on a trip like this, she was stuck in Tahoe without power for a week. So now I'm fucking spooked because I cannot be stuck in Tahoe for a week. Y'all pray for me. I pray we don't get stuck in Tahoe. But these snowstorms, I just, I don't know nothing about the snow. And so I really don't want to get stuck in Tahoe. I really, really don't. I'm scared. And we already paid the money. Like, what is going to happen? Oh my gosh. Let this go. Step that right foot forward. Take those hips really deep. Good morning. Something that really bugs me is that change is really so slow like that long lasting change it takes a long time to get there and i keep finding myself be i keep beating myself up really for not changing as quickly as i think i should be changing because i'm comparing myself to other people who have gone under similar things as me and it just feels like they've been able to get it instantly and for me i feel like i keep having to learn these same lessons over and over again and it's hard to not be disapp disappointed in yourself when you find yourself relapsing if you know about um the circle of behavior change relapse is a part of it and i'm happy that it's built into that because it offers a little bit of forgiveness but i just feel like i'm hitting that relapse a lot something my friend in hill coach tells me a lot though is that when you do find yourself relapsing you just want to close the gap from that relapse to go like getting back on track you want that gap to be shorter and shorter and so i do think the gap is decreasing but it just always sucks when you have a bit of a relapse in something that you thought you had under control or you thought you were making progress in. 
for me, I think that is food. I think I talked to you guys, was it two vlogs ago, about how I, I'm just trying to like figure my shit out with food. Um, I do see that making progress week over week. It's just the progress I think is very slow and I'm trying not to go like super restrictive cold turkey because that has never worked for me. Um, every time I've done something like that, it just leads to me having like binge eating episodes and so I'm trying to find a more moderate pace, a more, um, something that looks, that really is a lifestyle change. But, and so what, so, so if that's the case, then what I'm saying should be a-okay, right? But I think something is still like not sitting right with me because I come from that background of like, let's just be super restrictive and not eat anything for a week. And then you'll lose 10 pounds, but then you gain back 30. And so it's not <laughs> worth it in the end. I'm trying to remember that so I don't go down that super restrictive path. But it can be so hard to do those things. I'm just kind of rambling, but that's just what's heavy on my heart this morning, I guess. I think it's also hard for me too because we live in a society where we want everything so, so quick. And anybody that knows anything, you know, nothing quick is ever one worthwhile lasting like anytime you've gone under a quick fix like quick money or whatever it's just it's never worth it and it never really lasts and so i'm trying to just keep that mindset of like not feeling like i need to lose 60 pounds in the next three weeks you know but it's so hard when you look at yourself online and you're like, fuck, I need to make a change. And the only person that's putting that on me is me. I mean, other than like the gym bros on, on my um, YouTube channel, but one sec. It's for sure what I'm feeling internally and I'm just, um, I don't know. Just trying to not be so hard on myself um, while still, you know, holding myself accountable to the goals that I'm setting which can be a tough thing to navigate like and all of this is coming up because like I had a lot of pasta yesterday and I stepped on the scale and it didn't help and it didn't move and this is also why you shouldn't weigh yourself day to day like my health coach she literally tells me she's like don't weigh yourself every single day she honestly doesn't even like me to weigh myself she wants me to take she would rather me like take measurements and just do that once a week for me I am a little bit obsessive and I do weigh myself every single day and when the number isn't going down, it makes me feel like all the hard work that I'm putting in isn't working, which anybody who's ever told, who's ever been on a weight loss journey will tell you like that's not true. Sometimes you can't even see like what's going on. That number on the scale is just like an amalgamation of so many different things. But I also look at myself in the mirror and I'm like, okay, I wanna see a change. I wanna see the change now because I've worked out, I've gone for the runs, I've done this. That really is the diet that's like I feel like keeping me from seeing the progress I really need to see. And I'm also just trying to like figure out this intuitive eating. I don't know. I'm rambling y'all. This is just a slight fall my head this morning. But I'm about to get ready. I gotta go to this run. I'm kind of running late, so let me get out the door right now. Drop the week next week on where we're gonna see them. We it's are gonna it's it's attack on Wait, one, two, and three. Cute. So pretty. Oh, no, that oh, is really pretty. God damn. That was so good. This is why you do it. I love it. I'm so glad funny. I got up. I'm so <laughs> glad I got up too. My, my poor little muscles are like slowly in. Uh, <laughs> I'm growing older. My Latina mom is just like coming a little bit more open minded. Yeah, I'm just gonna slip it in. Okay, here we go. Another Friday. Another Friday run. That run was really good. Um, 
I like these runs because it's more like a fun community easy kind of vibe I feel like it's very hard for me easy for them like the people two people I was running with who, who were walk running with me like they're training for marathons you know so this they were like this kind of run feels really good you know? and I'm like I'm dying but this feels good for you so I'm happy but I'm literally dying right now um, so this is just like a little fun activity for them um, but I really like the community that I'm building. Everybody's just, everybody is so nice and inclusive. Um, like my friend Stephanie, who, who you guys saw, she literally made running feel so inclusive for me. Like anytime I say something negative about myself, she will literally stop me from saying that. I am late as hell for this class. <sighs> but I could not find any parking. They're doing a damn street cleaning today. I'm just going to Back now from the run. That is all the <laughs> Tahoe stuff down there. We're gonna get that all packed up and situated later today. Today is it raining? No. Okay. Today is kind of shaking out to be a busy day. I have just a lot I need to get done before we leave tomorrow. Um, but I'm glad I got up and after it this morning. The run. I think I was talking to you guys in the car. The run was really good, and then I took that Legree class. And now my legs feel like jello. Um, I'm supposed to be meeting up with my friends later, but honestly, I might pass because I just need to get a lot done. Um, but to make some food now because I'm very hungry. It's already 10 o'clock, so I definitely gotta like not let myself get on my phone. I was scrolling for a little bit. Well, I was posting and then I scrolled. And so I cannot let myself get into any more little TikTok holes. I need to like really be on it today. I think I'm about to make a little cracker situation real quick. Looks like I'm like feeling really start like really hungry. Um, and then where's my phone so I can track? See, the problem with food tracking is now I want to lick the spoon, but I don't know how much <laughs> this is on the spoon. I'm just gonna scrape it off so I don't have to lick the spoon. Okay, I'm going for. 0 0.7 ounces oh i went over <laughs> oh no i didn't no i didn't oh i can go a little bit okay okay i did a little less than what i wanted to do so that's good because i don't need much i just want a little something to make it sweet this is a nice post-workout snack good yum this is also really high in fiber i'm using the crisp bread trader joe's um crackers they're Nor norwegian crisp bread it has sunflower seeds oats sesame and flax combined it's gluten free and it's really high in fiber and my aura ring was telling me um to build my resilience they have like this new feature on there this is a resilience feature i don't fully understand all of it but i like the insights and i like when they tell me what i need to do and one of the things they were saying is that i need to be getting more fiber in my diet because just from this little ring they can track whatever i don't know i don't know how i don't don't ask me the science i don't know how it works i just look at my little report and do and try to incorporate the things that it tells me to do and one of the things is saying i need more fiber in my diet it's so crazy like how much you can get just from like your heart rate i guess i mean i'm sure it's more than my heart rate that it's like reading but like it also knows like if i've been you know a little bit more sedentary it knows everything it's also your temperature too so like that's how it knows like when i'm about to start my period they also send you like little emails too to correspond with like how you've been feeling things like that so overall i've been loving using my aura ring um and i'm not pregnant yet so i think that is a great testament of if the aura ring is worth the investment all right i need to take a shower now i need to take a shower wash my hair i guess i need to do my hair Oh, I have so much I need to do today, y'all. I'm like, this is about to take two hours right here. All right, wash, do my hair, and then get into some more work. I have to record a podcast today. I already wrote it out, so that's great. Thank God. Um, and that should, but the only thing I'm going to turn the edit around really quick because the edit needs to go up tomorrow. And I don't want to be working on it in Tahoe, so I need to finish it, record it, and edit it today. Which I hate when I put that on myself, but... It should, it should be okay if I can just go ahead and get everything knocked out now. 
and then I need to post for my social media, uh, one of my social media clients, and I need to prep all my content for them for this weekend and ideally into next week. Um, that'd be great just because I've been posting day to day and it's just becoming a little bit more stressful and I don't like to do it like that. I like to have um, a little bit more of a content bank and so I need to get things prepped there um, so that I can work smarter, not harder. And then I need to, I got paid today so I also need to like look at my finances um see what bills need to be paid i have a parking ticket that needs to be paid is like 200 fucking bucks but it is what it is it's just it's pissing me off because i have no idea how i got this parking ticket it was on my boyfriend's birthday but there was no ticket on my car and so i'm wondering if like we i do remember someone i do remember this someone was getting a ticket behind us and we moved and i'm wondering if they had already just given us the ticket but didn't put it on our car like i had already like written it out or something that's the only thing i could think of but we were like literally in the car and so like if they did that sneaky shit i'm just like oh my gosh so yeah need to pay that today that's 200 bucks 200 like 220 some bucks um and then i have some other bills i just need to get to pay <sighs> pay down credit card debt things like that and then make sure i have enough for my rent next month and then some emails did i tell you guys i got invited to go speak at a school i got invited to go speak um at a college they paid me like 50 bucks so not a ton of money but i'm i i wanted to get paid to speak this year and i'm just so excited that somebody wants me to speak at their school i think that is so cool it's about like social media and mental health things see i'm very hyped about that i don't know who's all going to be on this panel but i'm very very excited let me go ahead and get in the shower now and I'll try to bring you along for everything today so you can really see what like a crazy day in my life looks like. Okay, I'm just gonna let this sit in my hair for like 10-ish minutes and then hop in the shower and wash my hair. Y'all, I've washed my hair. I've washed my hair, but I have not done I, like it's just been air drying because my freaking group chat let me show it to you for this damn tahoe trip is going crazy right now because there's a crazy storm right now happening in tahoe or it's supposed to be happening in tahoe and so now i may not even be going to tahoe i don't know it's basically going to come down to a vote of people if they want to go or not this is how the vote is currently looking can you see that And so we will see if we go this weekend. Only thing is I'm doing my Pilates teacher training next weekend. And so I cannot do next weekend. Um, and I could do the weekend after, but this weekend was perfect because it's President's Day weekend. But I can't stress, I, like the group has been stressing me out. I'm gonna put it down, put my phone down um, and do my hair because like I told y'all before, I have a busy day. I am happy to say though, like I haven't straightened my hair and like I'm happy my girls are still here for the most part like the heat protecting do be heat protecting i do have some heat damage right here but what can you do um but now i'm hungry and now i'm like hungry again <laughs> like it's 141 and we've just been like going in this freaking group chat for so long oh my gosh and i've also done a little bit of work too but it, it this is completely thrown off my day and i hate when things happen like that <sighs> all right so i gotta get back on track like quickly because I was able to get a refund, so I bought, because we were gonna do go this gondola thing, which is like, kind of like a ski lift, but without the lift, without the skiing part. You're like in a little lift thing, and you get to see all the mountains, and it's so pretty. So I did buy that, and then I bought a tubing, snow tubing ticket, and I was able to get a refund for both of those, which was great. Um, and it's the same It's the same price if we buy it the, um, sunday like if i decide to repurchase it same day it was it will be the same price so that's good update y'all this day has been stressful because of this damn trip no longer going to tahoe this weekend bummer but good because we won't be stranded we'll be going two weekends from now so not next weekend but weekend after next got it figured out we were able to move the airbnb i was able to cancel my tickets and I'm in the Bay for President's Weekend. Modified Tahoe Gate. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that was you so work. apparently, if you don't have a bottle opener, you can do it with a lighter. With this Erica 
said that. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I know to be true. <laughs> okay, okay wait, 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 wait. Come here. Wait. Erica knows. Oh, she's confident, confident. Okay, wait. Oh, man. We, we, don't no we don't need no YouTube. We don't need no YouTube video. Okay, there's wait, no plastic. There's no plastic on it. Okay. Wait. Okay, you you. Oh my God. Oh, you have to twirl. You have to twirl, twirl it. it. So put it on the so table. To, I'll and twirl then twirl it. it. Or let me do the light. Okay. okay, don't put it right on it. Oh. Set a one minute timer. <laughs> Move it down a little bit. Yeah. Oh, down here. Y'all see anything happening? Uh, anything happening? Me neither. Okay, let's stop. No, it's <laughs> doing it. Oh, I see. Said it's I just moving. tried it. It worked. Health. Yeah. Yes. Thank you. It worked. Thank it was you. deeper in there. I feel like it's. Sure? It, yeah. It's no, it's all... moving. Is it it's moving? an awesome. Yeah, it's idea. moving. How can you tell? I can because every time I look away and then I look back up, it's higher. He said hello from Russia. Thank you. You made my day. I'm so scared, you guys. So this is working. Okay, so yeah, people the people are saying it. <laughs> okay. What happens like when it's done? Does it like just pop up? Uh, it looks like this. So it's not gonna like pop off like a Okay, like champagne. Good. I don't see anything happening. How far how how far are we into it? Well, the cork hasn't uh, moved yet, so I think we still have a ways time. to go. No, it does pop off. It she pops up. I did see it move. So just make sure it doesn't hit the the. Yeah. The, um, I feel, oh, I see you moving. Yeah. See, I'm not tripping. Yeah. We have movement. It's moving. Oh. No, it's moving. It's just moving very slowly. Yeah, I see very it. Slowly. Oh my god. Science. I know. Yo. See, you gotta be believing me. I don't see anything moving. I see a little something. It's moving. It, is. it literally is like every time I look down and come back up, it's moving more. Yeah. I literally don't see what y'all see. I see it. I see it. <laughs> Do you see, see what I see? Oh my God. It looks the same too. Put well, it down a little bit. <laughs> look under it. Yeah, they're right there. Yeah. But I think. Just because you don't believe. I think. <laughs> I just I'm Gabby sure is I'm, a skeptic. I'm not sure. I wear glasses. Maybe I'm just a little blind. <laughs> <laughs> I can't see. No. I'm blind. <laughs> bye. 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 Okay, it's coming to a halt. It's not doing it. Okay, let's. Look. I say. I say. Sit. I say. Keep doing it. Why are they just not keep working? spinning. Just, just keep, keep spinning. spinning. Just keep spinning, spinning, spinning. What do you do? <laughs> in, in. <laughs> we have out of fire, you guys. So we're out of fire. This one, this one had more fire though in the video. Yeah, but I don't think I have enough fire for this. Yeah, my lighter. Is try and angle it like a little bit. Can we just stab a knife in there or something? Or top, cut the top off? We can stab a knife and like try to work it. It gets it gets messy. It just gets really messy though. Mm, I see what you're trying to do. You know what? You see it now, don't you, Gabby? <laughs> Gabby's like, oh my god, wait! I see a little bit more movement. That's oh my god, that's all that I don't know. Y'all is actually okay, working. I do see. Oh! <laughs> no, it's me. No. <laughs> Y'all like that mullet, oh, huh? Really no, it's, it's moving. It's really moving. It's really moving. Oh, wow. oh my goodness, this is what we do at girls' night. <laughs> science, a little science project. Woman in STEM. I'm gonna put this on my resume. <laughs> Listen, I opened wine with very, wine. very ingenuitive, knows how to work with limited product. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Limited resources. Very resourceful. Limited resources. I think oh God, I would say really just make sure the state, like make sure you're holding it when it pops because it yeah. might like shake up a yeah, little bit. Pop. Start sure. a little commotion. <gasps> oh, oh, yo, this. this shit is moving. Yeah, huh? so Perfect view of Caitlyn's face. <laughs> I have a perfect view of Erica's. Ooh, it's getting hot. You see that? It's sweat.
This is actually the most exciting thing I've ever done. <laughs> oh, it is coming out. It's coming out. I'm coming out. I'm coming out. I want the world to know, got to let it show. Oh, wait, wait. Oh. Oh. It's so warm. We love science over we, here. He's a meteorologist. <laughs> <laughs> like, like Brandy. Like, like our girl Brandy. Now we're just trying to get oh, oh, oh. 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 Careful, Scary. careful. Steady. Steady. <laughs> Steady. Here, wait, let me try. Wait. Where's that from? How many girls? <laughs> I hope. Make a SpongeBob when they're doing hey. it. Hey. Oh, oh, I'm <laughs> Y'all, okay, the time now is 1 o'clock. I have been up for a little bit just editing my vlog, but now I am about to go take a workout class. I have not really moved my body at all today. I had the worst headache. I don't know what wine we were drinking, but it gave me the worst headache. And like, at, like after drinking it, like drink a little bit and then I was getting a terrible headache. And I didn't get home till 1 o'clock. And so I just feel off if you guys if this isn't your first time watching me you know kind of how I am a stickler for my routines and I just feel really like not myself it's also raining outside and so ugh, it's just I'm not feeling my best but I made myself like I when I got up I was like do not get back in that bed and I immediately pulled on my laptop and just started editing and that I'm proud of myself for doing that because normally I would just get back in bed and just veg out and well if you need to do that do that i didn't feel like i particularly needed to veg all the way out i don't know how i'm gonna wear my hair honestly i might just wear it like this like i but it can get hot sometimes like this let me just try to pull it up or something me and all my friends hung out last night because as you guys know we did not go to tahoe and one of our friends is leaving us which i did not know before going over there so this was like her kind of announcing that she was leaving us which is making me very sad, but she will be so dearly missed. I'm sure she'll come back and visit us. I'm just gonna pull it back into a hotel. They had to move us to a, our um, where we're staying. It's not an Airbnb. It's like some Tahoe rental thing. They had to move us to a different house because the house we had originally chose is unavailable. But this house is actually really cute. Like I feel like it's even nicer. Only thing. So there's 12 of us going, and I think there's exactly six, and it's all couples. And one bedroom is like a bunk bed, <laughs> and I refuse to have the bunk bedroom. I'm sorry, y'all, but I'm not, I'm not doing bunk bed. I'm the only plus size person in this group. <laughs> I'm like, one of y'all skinny girls can't get in the bunk bed. <laughs> I'm not doing no bunk bed. I went down that hill. I, I've never gone on like a trip like this before though. And so just like, so like my only knowledge of trips like these are like Real Housewives. And if you've seen Real Housewives, you know how much they can like fight over these dang rooms. And so I'm just hoping nobody like gets into a fight over the rooms. I honestly feel like first come first serve. So like I'm gonna make sure I get there super early. So I do not have to be in the bunk bedroom. A little ponytail moment, I guess. Mm -hmm. Could definitely be better. I was gonna put makeup on, but honestly, I'm just gonna let my skin breathe.
back now from taking a Greek class this morning. That class was so... Oh wait, don't worry. Oh my gosh, what are they doing? I can't even see. The weather switched up so fast. It was, it was so sunny and now it is a little gloom and doom situation. But you know what, it's okay. I'm not gonna let it ruin my mood, though I am feeling a little tired and I do have a run today. The one that I was putting on, from, if y'all remember that one, today's the day that I have to do it. And so I'm gonna have to get it done. I do wanna clean up a little bit first um, because we had a pottery night last night. We went straight to bed. We watched Black Cake, which I am really enjoying Black Cake. It is so good. And I just love the Jamaican accent. Like I was playing around with the last night. I'm not gonna do it here, but I was, I just, I was, everything they would say, Everything they said on TV, I literally was copying it. And so I just love that accent so much. So much. But yeah, I'm about to clean up. And then I guess go for a run. Yeah, it's hard to get all this stuff in. But it's not that hard if I don't scroll on TikTok all day. And I just was scrolling on TikTok for like 30 minutes. So gotta get to it. Can't let myself slip off. I gotta keep keep going. All right, let's get it. I'm about to move on to my bathroom now. All of this gotta get taken care of. It's girl mess, you know? Have y'all seen those TikTok stories? Like, it's girl mess. I'm about to listen to Miss Mama's. Uh, actually, I'm, I'm putting it up on my iPad. Risa, Tisa, who the F did I marry? This shit is good. I'm about to, I had Montez listening to it yesterday too. He was, <laughs> he was explaining to me what arena football was. Cause I was like, what is arena football? I don't know what that is. But yes, child, who the F did I marry? Atlanta men, they'll do it to you. Okay, I'm gonna put it up on my iPad actually. Because now I realize, at the very least, he was lying about um, him being the one who was under contract. I knew enough about that. So I was like, and I was trying to think of ways on how he's gonna do it. And something said to me, because I say it on the audio diary, I said, um, he's going to say it's a bad deal. And he's going to say he wants to pull out. Vision. That I knew he was going to come back. And I knew he was going to give me some bullshit. Hey, sorry y'all. I got deep into cleaning up and then I also got really deep into that Who the F Did I Marry show. Uh, and forgot to finish vlogging. But I also meal prepped some chicken and some boiled eggs for the week. Because apparently eggs can last like a long time. Like three weeks or something. Um, not that mine will last that long. But it's just nice to have some stuff prepped. Um, and I'm about to go to bed. Thank you so much for watching this vlog. I'm about to read the Atlas Complex. It's pretty good so far. I'm really enjoying it. Um, yeah. Thank you so much for watching this week's vlog. And I will see you in the next one. Actually, I'm going to switch it up this week. I'm gonna do a running challenge. I'm gonna cut this out in case I don't. Um, but I'm going to do a running challenge this coming week. So next week's vlog will be a little bit different. But yeah, thank you so much again for watching and spending this time with me. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.